What is up, guys? Welcome to the ninth episode of this series. Let's hop on into it. Last episode, we left off right here when we were about to renovate this brand new apartment. So let's get to work. Uh, first things first, we have to determine what each room is. So this is this could be the waiting room. I don't know. Uh, if you notice in the last episode, it's really hard to determine which what each room is. Okay, so this is the waiting room. Good. I hate those floors. Wait, is there better floors? Those are linoleum. Okay, actually, I like those better, though they're cheaper. I like them a lot better. You want big plants? Like, how big of a plant can you get inside? Those are kind of cute. I actually kind of like that. Is it this plant? Right next to the window. Cute. All right. Um, They want motivational posters. Dream big. Did you smile today? Great. And then also in the waiting room, they want some couches. So I feel like you put a couch over here. And you put a couch over here. I gotta watch this money, man. They don't have, oh, the, the box. Oh, in the way of the door, right? No. And an armchair. the door? I hate that. And they want a rug? Beautiful rug. Ugh, hideous. Um, hmm. Waiting room's not a good looking weird. I'm worried about my money though. It's kind of tight. Uh, I mean, assume this is the office. Is that a fair assumption to make? Yeah, it's a fair assumption. Cool. Cool walls. All right, so they need a desk. Looks like this is a one-man one man, one man uh, shindig, so we'll get them a desk over there. We'll get them that. Is that centered? I don't think that was centered. Is that centered? Yeah, that's centered. Vehicle. Yeah, cool. Another big plant. motivational posters in here as well. I mean, they're motivational posters. They get you every time. Don't they just make you want to smile? I don't know what they expect you to do with these rooms, to be honest with you. I clicked chair, right? Didn't count this as a chair. not a chair to you? Oh, painting. That counted. Hmm. Odd. It's not like it fits. I'm running low on money, man. Uh. Is this a chair to you? Okay, that was a chair. Alright, I... Not sure. Oh, that was a couch. I'm sorry. I speak lies. This was a couch. We already had a chair there, too. Let's go see if we can finish the bathroom. If we can't, we'll, we'll figure it out from there. Wait, hold up. What's the other one? Two bathrooms? Wait, what? Bathroom. Like, is this a room? No. Oh. Where's the other bathroom? Oh, we have to make another room? Hmm. Is that what we gotta do? Oh, they don't make this one easy either. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no door, I know.
This is supposed to be the bathroom now. Door. Eh, the door wasn't much cheaper. Uh, so... No way we finished two bathrooms. Eh, we'll see. Who knows? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll prove myself wrong. Why green wall? Whose idea is this bathroom? Sorry, guys. You're about to see the cheapest bathroom you can possibly get. Well, I, they can afford an expensive brush. That's not a big deal. A bathroom sink. All right, one bathroom down. 2K left, let's make it happen. What are those walls? Every time I see those walls, there's just a weird texture. What are my other options for floor here? Okay, pull us headachey. Uh, Might as well give them nice stuff in this bathroom. And we'll give them a mirror in both and they'll be happy. I don't know if they'll actually be happy, but they'll be a little bit happier, I hope. Good enough for me. All right, let's turn it in. Yeah, I know this room isn't decorated. Let's hop on my last job here. Mm, there's only two. Wow, this job's really expensive. Jeez. They hate this room, right? Yeah, I know. Sorry. Odds and ends. Oh, cool. We got a Rubik's Cube. Oh, that's fun. What you give us? Give us a rating in that room? Ah. Uh, Five star, three stars, not five star. Well, that's what it is. That's fortunate. All right, let's go accept one more job here. I guess we accept, this one's only 6K. Let's accept that one. Are we just decorating this one room? That's sick. It's really easy. So you just want us to decorate this single room. You got it, dude. You got quite a pretty penny too to spend. That's nice. Thanks for the, uh, the moolah. Okay, those floors and maybe I should start paying more attention. These don't go together. It's a little less headachey. Uh, you don't have a door? Is is that your door? That just blinds? Okay, I'll get you. Uh, I'll pop up a door for you. No, that's a front door. There you go. At least you have a door now. Um. Okay. So what do they want? They want a bathtub. Okay, that tub's giant. Oh, all tubs are ginormous. Not just that one. Gotcha. Here's a claw foot tub. Want a shower cabin? You got it. You can shove it in this corner over here. That's not accessible, really. But it is there. Hmm. Hey, right, whatever works, man. I'm not here to judge. If that works, it works. Just hovering over these C can only be placed in apartments. I was seeing if there was anything special about them because they are kind of interesting with uh, how some of them are decorated. Now there's those odds and ends items, for example, which um, are interesting, man. It's something, it's, it's new to what I've been doing. So I like it. I'm just trying to figure out how they work, you know? We, we still need a toilet. I want to put the toilet there. It's going to be kind of a tight squeeze, though. But I guess it is what it is, right? You need all your utensils and stuff. Utensils. Ugh. Using the term utensils for bathroom stuff. Need all your utensils in the bathroom. Dude, those rugs underneath toilets freak me out. They were so gross. Like, whose idea was, oh, let's put a rug right where you do your duties, you know? Like, whose idea? Wait. Oh, hung on the wall. What is this? Yeah. 
I should never... I don't even know what this is. Am I crazy? See, I have a dryer at home, so I, I don't really use one of these. I know, I know it's used for buying items, I just don't use it all that often. Um, okay, they want books in the back. Let's get them a shelf, I guess. If they want books, we could get them like a shelf. Like you, oh, we'll get them a shelf right behind the right behind the, the oh right next to the toilet. That's nice, and then we'll get books on there. You want books? You can have books. Get them some books. Some some midday reads while you're. Getting it done. Uh, then a wall decoration. You know what that means. Wall plant. Oh, wait. Will curtains count as a wall decoration? I I should have curtains here. The fact that, like, all these houses don't have curtains. I know it's my job to, like, decorate, but I feel like they should passively have curtains. Is that preferred item? I feel like that is what I would want. Like, seeing houses without curtains is, like, such a weird thing. Does that count as a, you want a clock? These aren't counting as wall decor. What is wall decor? Oh, it is. You want blinds? I'll give you a blind. That definitely fits there. I don't... Can we put curtains as well? Blinds and curtains. Does that those two go together or do they go... Or is it like one or the other? My house has both. Um, all right, let's keep decorating though. So we're gonna check out what this room's rated. We're actually on an A. Um, drying rack, laundry basket, bathtub, shower cabin, uh, bathroom sink, wall lamp, rug and doormat, vase. So vase, wall lamp. And I think that would max this out. Vase and wall lamp, I think should max this out. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how this bad Larry works. Give them a little vase action, I know. And a wall lamp. And we'll put that right above the there. And that should max this room out, and we can turn it in. Yeah. 79. Deliver it. Let's see. That should be an A. That's A plus work there. Oh. All right, Bink. Do your thing. Loves it. Loves it. Loves it. Is that a five out of five? Did we do it? Did we get ourselves a five out of five? Oh, first impression. New items unlocked. Bigger TV. New new door. A couple more stacks. Wine bottles. Items could be more fashionable. New classic wall fashion. What does it even mean? Sign a lease with a rent over 10K. Oh, that's just $390,000. How do we even get 10K? So we first have to buy a place that's worth that much, which if you guys know anything, I think our largest, most expensive property is just over 100K. So how we plan on getting someone to spend 10K, I think we'd have to be in the suburbs. So like, I think we're in the right area, but we somehow have to get enough money to get something like that, which, um, isn't happening right now. Oh, they're getting happier. Oh, what's unlocked? Oh, agent fee. This does say unoccupied, right? Lost Road Creek. Lost Creek Road. This is occupied. This is occupied. This we have a fourth house there that's not that doesn't currently have a residence. Oh, we have three rental properties, three tenants. Hmm. I wonder if it's saying that like, oh, you could buy this property. I'm not sure. I don't know if we have to keep doing more jobs. How are we going to get another 300k? Another few hundred thousand, you know? Um. Let's babysit this guy. Uh, I can just sit here, you know? I've heard from a guy. Okay, cool. We just sit here and let this time kind of speed up. Because right now we are profitable. We're like, we'll be bringing in money consistently. We're still trying to pay off the 100k loan. If we get the... Oh, wait. We get the 250k loan. Hold up. If we get the 200... Oh, whoa! That's a huge payback, though. 
Um, if we can get the 250k loan, maybe there's a house we can afford. 300,000. 500,000. Okay, there's not a house. Oh, whoa, 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 what about the shack? 100,000. 160. Oh, that's the one I decorated, which was hideous. I say we just buy it and see if we can get someone in there. Like, take the loan, figure it out after. Horrible mentality. Don't do that IRL, please. Don't be that dumb. Millionaire? Woo! All right. Um, let's go look at it real quick. We decorated this house, didn't we? Um, oh, my God. That's so dumb. No way. So, we decorated this because it was an office. But we just bought it as the office, not as the house. So, we have to totally redecorate it to be a bedroom with a bathroom and a uh pretty much just have to demolish the entire house okay uh give me a few minutes guys thanks okay um i know there's probably a better way to do it but i'm just not gonna even work i'd rather start completely fresh and just build up you know, I, I don't know if you guys understand this. This, this is kind of stupid. I'm actually kind of irked. So here's my idea. We can leave the garden. Garden's fine. I think it was rated pretty highly. Um, but we have to delete everything else. Uh, we'll probably end up using... Uh, we can keep some of this stuff, I guess. Okay, so my idea is kitchen, bathroom somewhere over here, and then two bedrooms. I was actually going to double up on the bedrooms. I Let's... You know what? Just for my own sanity, let's just sell everything and I will just build it again. Just so I don't go crazy here, I'm just gonna sell every. Wouldn't just be great if the. I, I'm assuming I'm clicking there because it's probably where the sim circle lands up. Ends up. Okay, so first things first, sell everything. I'd, I'd rather just start fresh. And visualize this again. I, you know what's weird? I don't think we're getting money for the books. I don't, I don't mind. It's a few extra points, but I don't think we got money for the books. Okay. All right. Now then, drop this wall as well. Demolish. All right. We are completely clear. Okay. So now let's lay out this apartment. How do we want this apartment to look? This here is going to end up being a kitchen. Okay. So how much room do we need for that kitchen? Like we could bring this up probably one have them walk into the kitchen and then a corridor and separate this into a I want to do two bedrooms I think that's the only way we're going to get that much money um maybe we can't fit two bedrooms in here so this would be one two where would we put a bathroom though can we bust out out here no do you fit a bathroom in a one by one? Probably not, right? I don't think so. Hmm. Hmm. How else could we do this? Do one bedroom, one bath. Or knock out the hallway and just have them go through the bedroom. Maybe that's the move. Because the that hallway's taking up one, two, three, four, five, about five slots. So what if we do. This instead? So what would this be? I'm thinking... Alright, so bathroom. Bedroom, bedroom, bathroom. I know the actual logistics of this kind of stink because the only bathroom is through the bedroom. But I also think for money-wise, I think it makes the most sense. I hope you guys understand. Cool. So now then, we have to figure out how we want to lay this out. So this is going to end up being a bathroom. So what, what does it currently have everything labeled? No, it doesn't have anything labeled. Bedroom not found, bathroom. Okay, so bathroom is determined by having a toilet. So let's first start off with the bathroom here and see if I can get the most basic essentials in here. Toilet, number one, toilet, yeah. Well, if I was to walk in, let's put the door here. I, I want visualization here. Put a door here. Put a door for this bedroom, probably over here. Put the door for this room over here. Cool. So now, for my own sanity, move this down. Grab a couple doors. You know, throw them on the hinges. We'll, we'll worry about that after. Okay. 
So bedroom, bathroom. Okay, cool. So, go to the furniture, go over to the bathroom stuff. Get a sink over here. Well, I want a shower over there, actually. Let's do the shower first, because it's not going to be a, a house worth any money if there's not a place for a shower. Dude, where's the corner one? Good. Uh, we can just move this into, like, another bedroom. All right. Done. Next. A little toilet action, you know? Obviously, you gotta get them everything they need for the toilet. Good. Now then, last but not least, some sort of sink. Sink fit right here? It can. Okay, hold up. We're good. I was gonna put it on the opposite wall, but like... Eh. Floors, you probably should use tile. Walls, we should probably just use something kind of like biting. Well, I kind of like those walls actually. Uh, they like a wall lamp in a bathroom. Wall. They like a wall lamp in a bathroom. They like a vase in a bathroom. Any size vase will actually do for the bathroom, believe it or not. Really? That doesn't fit there. We'll pretend that's like a trash can. Like a trash can. Yeah. Alright. So that should be a little... 109! What? Dude, that's how you freaking do it. Look at that. 109 on Prestige. A small plant and a small decoration. We can get the plant. plant. Can we fit a plant in here? It's it's really tight. Let's, let's not force it. Let's not force our hand. Okay. Done. Now, bedroom. Number one. Go over the bedroom stuff, okay? First things first, floors and walls. We're gonna do some carpet, of course. We do carpet in here as well. We're gonna switch out here to be like wood, I think. Laminate. Yeah. Cool. Bedroom walls. Go over the walls. I, I think just a stable blue is nice. It's it's simple, it's not overwhelming. Obviously the furniture is gonna be pretty big, so we wanna make sure there's enough space. Nice. Is this a single bed? Can we do a double bed? I'd rather spend the extra and give them double beds. Bedroom one. Uh, walls make this room a different color. I don't like the floors in here. Give me a different floor. Nah, you really don't get any options for rugs, do you? This don't like giving you like normal, just a beige rug, eh? I guess it's kind of hard to visualize a beige rug. Um. Like, in this game, with the graphics they have, is what I mean. Not IRL. Uh, cool. We'll give them a big bed, too. Alright, cool. Two big beds. Great. Um, cool. So, what else do they need? They probably need this. Now, I have to figure out what a average bedroom has that makes people happy. So, next thing's next. We click on this. Click this. Bedroom's currently horrible. They, like... Wall plants, like a small plant, they like a big plant. So a couple plants, some vases, a rug. Only one count. So a wall, a lamp, and a rug. Let's give them a lamp, a rug, and a wall plant. A lamp, rug. And I'm gonna make both these rooms pretty much identical. Just for our timeliness. I know it's a rug on a rug. What a horrible idea that is, but it is what it is at this point. Um wall lamp which will go right above the mirror like last time give you good lighting in the bathrooms i know so con in the on the mirrors is that centered maybe that can't be centered uh it can't be maybe that is centered no this mirror is not centered i i can't eh, whatever good enough yeah, i just don't think that mirror is centered cool and then they wanted a wall plant, so. Most efficient home you'll ever see. Wall plant, gorgeous. All right, let's make sure, let's check out what else these bedrooms could use. Hmm. 
How much money do they give us? I, I think they gave us enough. Uh, a clock? They like a wall clock? They like a fan? Let's see if we can get them a wall clock and a fan in both rooms. A wall clock. So these rooms would also be beneficial if they were larger. You get a benefit for having larger rooms as well, uh, based on like how large it is. Uh, the room will gr be higher rated. So these rooms are gonna be low rated no matter what I do. If you look here, click on this, we're at a C, but it's because the room's four, <laughs> it's four square meters, you know? So like, no matter what we do, it's always gonna be low rated. And this one's lower because it has three doors. So like our hands are kind of tied on that. It's we can only do so much is my point for those rooms. Like this bathroom is like the selling point of the house and that back room, of course. Last but not least, let's get them. Yeah, no problem. Uh, uh, let's get them a full kitchen here. So first things first, walls. We could probably just paint the walls, right? Ah, let's get them brick. I like brick, man. I do. I really like brick walls. Let's get them more expensive brick. Yeah. Good enough. Uh, what's this? Yeah, let's just do that. I I know, I don't follow my own rules. Okay, cool. So the idea here is to get them a full ginormous kitchen. I know, generous of me. Hold the applause. Wait, what did I just hit? Still, still work on the renovation. I definitely did not hit off, but that's okay. So very generous, a full renovation here. Yeah, check that out. And we're just gonna sell one of these so I can shove a stove in there. And then they like like one of everything. So it's like one tea kettle. Uh, they want a toaster. They also want a microwave. They want a hood. That is a hood, right? Yeah. Uh, they want a kitchen scale for one reason or another. Still question, I still question the kitchen scale. Seems a little sketchy if you ask me. Not accepting elite contract today. Uh, okay. All right, so that's like a, that's actually like a full kitchen, by the way. It's kind of weird how that works. Uh, last but not least, we probably give them a little living space over here. We'll this, we'll give them a uh, table. Oh, cool. We got paid for that. I barely did anything. So that's why I accepted that mission, by the way. I really like those... Mm, clicked off again, I guess. I really like those missions because they're extremely simple. It, it's just like you help them a little bit and they're like good to go, usually. Give them a TV. Give them a little speaker in the corner. Make them happy. Um... Them window curtains. They might want to like a Sims council because I'm generous. It's actually, it's actually kind of a nice apartment. Uh, we give them some shelves. They like shelves. Don't ask me why they like shelves, but they do. I don't think. So the game's kind of funky. I'm not sure if they'll identify this as a separate room from the kitchen. So this might just end up being classified as a kitchen, which all this extra work here will go to waste. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. But we'll host the open house next episode. Let's see what they think of this room. Yeah, crazy good. Uh, they want a blender, a toaster, a kettle, a microwave, a scale, a hood, a wall lamp, a fire extinguisher. Let's give them a wall lamp and a fire extinguisher. A wall lamp and a fire extinguisher. And 
and we'll call that a day. And I actually really like how this house came out. If, if you guys see, it's my first ever like house from ground up. It, it was expensive to make. I spent a lot of cash on it, but I think we're going to end up getting a pretty good rent for it, to be honest with you. I think it's going to go well. But for now, actually, let's give them a rug as well real quick, uh, just for this area. Separate, at least create some separation between the areas. Either we put it over here, which I'm leaning towards, which creates separation from the rest of the room. It makes it feel like its own little entity. I know it's a little tight, but it is what it is. It's a small apartment. I also wanted to give them an eatery. Like a, mm, I wonder if we could fit one. Wait, let me just try real quick. Let's see if we can fit a small. I, I really it has to be really small. Is there like a smaller table? There isn't. Are these little, these are the smallest tables they can. Do you like? No, it's just way too big. I wanted it to be like the smallest. It's tight. I. Mm, Actually, this, this is the wrong table for this. They had a table to actually match those chairs. Uh, this table? This table matches. Yeah. Uh, so, we ain't gonna do it. No point. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you all in a future episode. See you guys.